Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today we're learning from number 21. One day you will notice that sexual love has become an illusion. Even so, can you maintain peace within yourself? A words for building character number 21. One day you'll notice that sexual love has become an illusion. Even so, can you maintain peace within yourself? Thank you, Lord God. All right, so I was contemplating on what master means by this, uh, going back to Japanese and English, uh, both Japanese and English. But um, I, to be honest, it's a, this is a little hard one. Uh, I couldn't really understand his intention clearly, directly from the sentences. But if you look at number 20, if you have the book, uh, if you look at number 20 and if you look at number 22, and the one before and one after this one, you'll notice that it is probably a message towards someone in their youth. So when we're in our youths, uh, when we're young, it's hard for us to, uh, f to <laughs> be free of sensual desires or to be free of sexual desires or... We, in other words, we tend to be enslaved by sensual desires and it takes over us. And these worldly desires kind of like uh, make us, makes us um, <laughs> do a stupid mistake. Uh, so I do feel that it, it is a, some sort of message for the youth who's having trouble not being able to overcome those sensual desires. And so one day it's going to be an illusion. Mm. When we grow, we're going to grow out of it one day, hopefully. Uh, some people still don't, which um, a lot of the times if you look at the re newspaper, uh, many, many people go through sex scandals at the end of their lives and they literally waste all the glory they've built. So it's something to be careful about. But um, one day it's supposed to. Uh, naturally, it's supposed to, to die out. And even so, if it's, it's supposed to die out. Well, I mean, if it's between, Master says, you know, if it's between a loving couple, like a lo in a marriage, that's totally fine. But what I mean, obviously, here is a hazardous one where, like, you cheat or, you know, something like that. A love relationship that causes harm to people around you. So that's supposed to naturally die out. And so, even so, can you maintain peace within yourself? Um, so I think he's trying to say, like, uh, even without... I don't know, there's many different ways to look at this. One thing that came to my mind just now is, even without sexual desires, can you still love that person in front of you? Um, I, I'm sorry, like, you know, there's different ways to look at it. I don't think this is the answer, uh, but that could be one. Can you still love that person, even if you take away that sexual uh, sensation? And that's probably true and real love. So, um, I guess... <laughs> this was a hard one. Uh, please let me know what you thought uh, in the comment section. Thank you for tuning in, and see you again tomorrow. Bye.